walking the runway because I, I wanted to launch my speaking career and, you know, wanted to meet Ben Barry and, uh, you know, I won the People's Choice Award. Uh, then I also won the Fierce Woman of the Year Award a couple months later and, um, you know, wrote my book about, you know, No Risk, No Rewards which was all about um, my journey of going from near death to success, um, you know, and then now... That's pretty dramatic, uh, near death to success. Yeah, well, I had died when I was in the hospital the, the first time, and um, I actually, uh, you know, my mom actually was telling me about it, and so I actually went, went to get hypnotized about it because I wanted to know why I lived. You know, when I was 18 years old, I was really struggling with, you know, what, what's my purpose? Why, why do I need to live? I'm only two, you know, I was two years old. Back in 1968, 75% burns, like, I was not expected to live. And I actually did die at one point. And um, when I was hypnotized, um, what was happening is I, there was me and there was a little gray fuzzy thing. And we were watching the doctors and nurses wa or work on me. And, you know, I assumed that it was God that I was talking to, and, and uh, he said to me, he said, you're too young to die. You have to live. And um, I said, well, I don't want to live. And he goes, you are too young. You have a purpose. And I said, well, what's, what's my purpose? And he said, you need to live for your grandpa and your sister. Um, but I'm sure I had, you know, more of a purpose with that, though, too. And, and finally, then I just said, okay, I'll, I'll live. And, um, yeah, so I came back to life, and away I went from there. So it's just been an incredible journey for sure. That's fantastic, and that's amazing. And uh, I I must say I've read your, your, your book, um, Self-Esteem Doesn't Come in a Bottle, and it is absolutely chock as full with very usable content that people can adopt here and now if they're feeling kind of sorry for themselves at the moment. I, I reckon when you look at what Kelly's been through, you shouldn't. Um, and uh, basically, it's th that book is just a reminder of how great, really, our lives are, not can be, already are. It's just that we haven't recognized it or acknowledged it or been thankful and grateful enough for it. And you've actually come up and said, really, folks, it's not that bad, is it? Yeah, I'm, you know, I'm really quite excited at how the whole book came together, and um, I'm also excited of, about some other products that are going to come along with that, and one is um, I've designed um, an action guide, so along with the book is, is my chapter, but there's also action steps that people can take to help improve their life, and then there's also a secret for me, and then there's a secret from my friends, so I've got about 45 friends who have written secrets their secrets of self-esteem that are being included in the book, including you. That's so exciting. And then the, the other thing that I've done is I'm doing an audio program to go with it. So every chapter is going to have an audio CD. And so that's going to be awesome too. So people can sign up for the monthly program or they can sign up for, um, you know, they can get the whole audio set. There'll be 17 CDs. And um, it's just, you know, it's really about, I really want people to feel great about themselves. I'm so tired of, of people not feeling great. And my, my book is really about, you know, there's lots of quick and easy little action steps that you can take to, to help yourself feel great. And so that's why I'm really excited about the, the new programs I have coming out. And the, the other great thing about them is they're not just designed for adults. They're designed for you. Too. So, you know, it's um, really hard to put an age on, you know, on my book. I think it basically applies to, to all ages, which I think is really cool. Yeah, look, I, I believe very much that um, how a person or where a person gets to in life in terms of their external success is actually a reflection of what goes on inside them. Now, and if you're feeling like crap or meaning that you've got low self-esteem, it's going to be reflected in your relationships, your bank account, among other things. Okay, so really, it's it's not not a a um, you know I'm not bagging the emos out there, sorry, but really mm -hmm. it's a case of you know look after yourself and look after your inner health, and your inner health starts with your self esteem. If you want to get all the good stuff happening in your life, and all you want all those successes in your life, including great relationships, you know, um, being wealthy and and the like. 
So can you tell us once again your uh, website, just in case some people who've logged on a bit later from Stick and Hi, folks, uh, about Kelly's website. So can you just give us the name again so that whoever logs on first sure. and signs up it, for your newsletter gets gets the book, gets the signed book from her, the, the real yeah. person here. Yeah, the, the website again is www.mykellyf.com. But, you know, I totally okay. agree with you that, you know, that's the whole thing. Like, successful people have great self-esteem. And, you know, Oprah, again, to another great example, there's no way she could have achieved the greatness that she has without having great self-esteem. And I, I'm a very big believer in that. Yeah, can you name some other people, like, especially, we're talking about women here because women tend to sort of... Um, it be a bit more angst-ridden about their, their looks, really, and, um, you know, half of it is because of what the media portrays as being perfect. 